Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well today, we're going to do something a little bit different and a whole lot crazy. whole lot crazy. We're going to do another trash fish or treasure. And today's victim, maybe I'm the victim, I, I don't know. Today's fish is the mother-in-law, the oyster toad fish. Yep, we're going to try it. I was out fishing this morning. I did a collaboration with uh, Chad the Walrus. Excellent guy, super cool dude. Him and his son came out fishing with me this morning. And while we were fishing, I caught a toadfish. So I asked them if I should do a trash fish or treasure. And they said, go for it. So we're gonna do it. So first, I want you guys check out this video, me catching the toadfish. And I'll see you guys in the I think I got a nice sheep head here. We got fish coming over the rail. No, I got a mother-in-law. Great. Oh, mother-in-law fish. Look at that beauty. Oh boy, oh boy. Look Beautiful. at that. They are pretty. Mother-in-law fish. Yeah. Oyster toad fish. All right, I'll let you guys be the deciding factor. Should I do a trash fish or treasure on this thing or let him go? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, go for it. Go for it? Yeah. All right, we're going to do a trash fish or treasure on a mother-in-law mother toadfish. Wish me luck on that. All right, guys, so there you go. There's your two oyster toadfish fillets. All right, guys, I'm at the grill, and I'm going to go ahead and light my burner here. And then I'm going to bring this pot of water to a boil. And once it starts boiling, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar and one half of a lime. And let that boil, and then I'm going to add my fish, and then we're going to pull it out. And supposedly, after you do this, it's... Tastes like lobster. They call this the poor man's lobster method. Well, I actually just reread the recipe and we want to put the sugar and the lime in before it boils and let all that boil together. So now we'll let that boil and then I'll put my fish in it. All right, guys, I got my fish. I went ahead and cut it up in little chunks, little bite sized lobster pieces. I got my slotted spoon to pull it out with because you do not want to stir this mixture when the fish is in it because it'll break it apart and then you've messed the whole thing up. And then I got, after I pull it out, we got some old base seasoning to sprinkle on it. And then I'm going to melt some butter. And we're going to see if this actually tastes like lobster and also find out if uh, oyster toadfish actually tastes pretty good. Really curious about this and kind of looking forward to it. All right, guys, we got a good boil going now. So I'm going to grab my fish. Right here. And we're just going to put them in here. And they're going to sink. And when they float back up to the top, they are done. You do not stir this once the fish are in, or you'll mess up the whole process. So I'm going to let this come back to a boil. Let the fish float back up to the top, and we should be ready to eat. All right, guys, we got some little critters floating up to the top here already. Wait till they all get going. Yep. Very interesting. I've never done this process before either. I've been looking at it, been wanting to try it on other kinds of fish. I figured I'd give it a shot on this. We'll kill two birds with one stone. All right, well, I'm gonna, looks like they're all floating up now. So I'm gonna get my plate and my spoon. We're just gonna pull them out. And drain off. It looks interesting, y'all. I will have to say, 
supposedly this solution um, changes the texture of the fish to what's more like shellfish. So we will see about that. That one's floating up. There's that one. There's another one. Oh, he went back down. There's one. And from the recipes that I've read and the YouTube that I've watched on this, so don't take them out until they float up to the surface. Oop, overflow. Go ahead and turn this off. Yep. Yeah, they're floating. There we go. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm going to put a little Old Bay on them. Then I'm going to go in the house, get me some melted butter. And I'm going to try this out. Guys, it looks pretty good. Don't look too bad, y'all, I have to say. Not too bad at all. All right, guys. I got my uh, mother-in-law slash oyster toadfish all done. This is what it looks like, you guys. You can see it. Got my butter. Cooked it the uh, old man lobster style. Or poor man's lobster, rather. So that's what it looks like, guys. Here goes nothing. I'm trying two things I've never tried before. Never tried oyster toad, and I never tried poor man's lobster. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 Man, that is uh, really good. Really good. Holy crap. I gotta get somebody else in here to try this. Hold on. All right, guys, I was so surprised at that, and it is so good that I got to get someone else come in here and try it and make sure I'm not going completely nuts. So here it is again. All right, babe. Go okay. Ahead. It's okay. It's okay? It's a little mashy. It is soft. I will say it's more it's like crab soft. meat than it is lobster. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Mm hmm Don't taste crappy, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Not too bad. <laughs> well, let's get Summer in here and try it. Come here, Summer. Actually, let her sit there. Okay. Here, watch out, baby girl. All right, Summer. There you go. You like it? Should we keep them again? Really? Well, guys, there you go. Out of the mouths of babes. We should keep them again. I'm really shocked on this one, to be honest with you. I don't know if I did the uh, poor man's lobster correct, because it's supposed to change the texture, make it more firm and more crab-like. So I don't know if I got that exactly perfect. So I have to try that again on something else to make sure it's the fish or not the fish, but wow, oyster toadfish is actually pretty good. I really would not was not so 
expecting that, actually. But hey, you know, Ladyfish was excellent. This is good. I've eaten some other ones that uh, people have said is trash fish that's not. I don't know. I guess everybody just needs to try the stuff out for yourself. And you be the judge if it's trash or treasure. Well, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you all subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys very much. Very, very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that little subscribe button, that little bell for notifications. And if you like my videos, shoot me a thumbs up. You guys can always shoot me a comment. I enjoy talking to each and every one of you guys. Well, guys, I'm going to eat the rest of this because it's really good. And until next time I get to see you guys on the water, tie line job. Well, hey, guys, I'm back. That was excellent. I was really shocked. That fish was really good. It was a little soft, but I could have got the uh, poor man's lobster recipe wrong. I could try it again. I did use a lime instead of a lemon, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But I want to take this time and I want to send you guys over to my friend's YouTube page, to Chad the Walrus. You guys need to go over and check him out. He's got a really cool channel. He does some fishing. He does some stuff with some hot sauce. He does a little bit of everything. It's a really neat channel. And he's a great guy. So go over there and show him some support like you guys have shown me. And give him, give him a thumbs up on some of his videos. Give him some view time so he can get some more view time. And subscribe. Definitely subscribe. He's at 800 something subscribers. We need to get him up to 1,000, y'all. Okay? So I appreciate you guys. And please do that for me. Tight lines, y'all.